while most people in his neighborhood are in bed asleep, Glenn Venezio is just getting to work. Known as the Catman of Puerto Rico, he's been feeding approximately 250 stray cats in and around his neighborhood since he moved to the island from New Jersey in 2006, and he hasn't missed a single night, even when he's sick or the weather is bad. It is about being present for these animals that are so hated here by most people, going out every night religiously, in pouring rain, in storm conditions, on burning humid hot nights, when I am ill, Glenn said. I have not missed a night in over 10 years. Hearing Glenn describe his feeding routine, his dedication becomes even more admirable. His night starts around 11 p.m. when he fills about 92 liter bottles with water from the tap. He then hauls the water, six 16 pound bags of dry food, and 40 13 ounce cans of wet food down the stairs from his second story apartment and loads it into a large shopping cart. By 1 a.m. he's ready to get started on his route. He feeds stray cats on street corners, in empty lots, and behind abandoned buildings, and he won't be home again until the sun comes up. Without Venezio, many of these kitties would be in even rougher shape than they are. It's so hard to explain the larger picture here, because there are so many misconceptions from people in the States, he says. People write to me and say, don't you have the ask of air? No, we don't. Oh, any woman said, you need to sign up for the TNR program in your municipality, and they will spay and neuter all of those cats for free. And I told her no such thing exists here. There are hundreds of thousands of animals, and Puerto Rico is roughly the size of the state of Connecticut. The scope of the problem can be overwhelming for Glenn.I and most Puerto Rican neighborhoods, with the possible exception of gated communities, he says the streets and beaches are inundated with stray cats and dogs. A lot of people on the island have feeding roots, but most of them focus on dogs. Glenn is one of the few who specializes in caring for the kitties, largely because of the negative perception many people on the island have toward cats. People don't understand that the cats come from this area. People have either thrown them here before I moved here or they throw them here now because they know I'm here and I'll feed them, Glenn says. They have old-fashioned misconceptions. They say cats are traitors because you'll pet a cat and it will claw your eyes out a second later. Yeah. Or cats will steal the baby's breath out of its mouth. Stuff like that. People's harmful ideas about cats often bleed over onto Glenn, who has gotten into many altercations with his neighbors, initially prompting him to switch from feeding during the day to at night. He struggled with people destroying his feeding stations or even poisoning the cat's food. Glenn says that most of the dangerous people on the street at night leave him alone, but that is often not the case with residents who feel the cats make their neighborhood look trashy. Yeah. 